Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Teresa here with another live video. Uh, and my little helper, Yoshi, who decided not to listen to me when I asked him to leave. So he's my little helper right now. Uh, today we're going to be making the canary. So this little guy here, who uh, Yoshi enjoys playing with immensely. It's his favorite thing to play with. Uh, and then next week, or uh, on Wednesday, we're going to be doing the little owls. So this is actually one <laughs> one tasty owl, apparently. Uh, one piece of paper, which will get cut into two, and then we can make two small owls. You, come over here. Uh, and then on Friday, we're going to be doing the leapfrog. So just so you know which ones we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing the canary. Okay, come fly with the birdie. All right, so I've got my double-sided paper and my helper. Um, we're going to be choosing which color we want as the outside, and we're going to have that face down. So we're going to do pattern down on this one. Um, if you're using just a blank on one side and a normal color, obviously you'd want color down. We're going to be making a triangle first, so we're going to fold this into a triangle. And again, always making sure our corners line up. So you don't want it over like this. You want a nice, nice corner where it all matches up. And then a nice tight crease, as always. All right, and then we're gonna fold this and we're gonna make it into a smaller triangle. So we're gonna go again to the corner, nice tight, and just like that. So we have a nice little triangle. And again, we want nice tight creases. And then once we do that, we're going to fold it into a square. So we're going to take this, we're going to open it up, and we're going to open this. And again, we're going to make sure that these stay in the corners. And then we're going to fold it just like so. Just like that. And again, nice tight creases. And then we're going to flip it over. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do this. Finger in. And if you want, you can reverse it and fold this along here. It's much better to do. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier. So you just kind of fold it like this. And then it should end up like a little sundial. So we're going to take our finger. We're going to open it up like this. And again, we want to make sure these don't go wide and open. Because sometimes they'll move. So we're going to hold them down. And just like that. Line all the four corners up and press it down. So nice and tight. And you should have four points. So one, two, three, four. All right, so once you've got your four points, all right, I'm going to get my helper off here for a second. You're wiggling the camera, little buddy. I normally have him locked out, so today I decided I'd not lock him out and see if he stayed still, but he had to have a bath, so. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a fold along the side on an angle. So that it goes to the open end, just like this, and we're going to fold it right into the center line. So, making sure that it's nice and lined up, and fold it down. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Like that. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So again, making sure that they go the same direction, right? You don't want to go the other direction like this by accident. And we're going to do this one and you should have all four flaps folded into make it a triangle. What we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to fold it over and then let it go and we're going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once you have that, we're going to unfold this and we're going to just go wide open and we're going to follow this crease along here and we're going to fold this crease along here and 
reverse this fold. So we already have a fold, but we want to go along that fold in the opposite direction of the fold that's already there. And we're going to make it nice, stretched out, just like that. All right. So once you've got this, we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do the same thing. One, two, and open wide, really wide. And we're going to follow this crease along here, this crease along here, and hold it down here. It's nice and easy to do. And then just give this one a little bit of a reverse, and it'll fold along the lines that you have on the inside. So you can kind of see the fold along here. So that's all we're folding along. We just kind of follow it along. on both sides and again always making sure nice tight creases all right so once you've done that what we're going to do is kind of fun and I, I say fun with a little bit of laughter in that because it's kind of frustrating the first time you do it but what we're going to do is we're going to follow this fold here. You see this little line along here. What we're going to do is we're going to go like this and point our leg out. Just like that. And then we're going to follow this line. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Alright. So once we've done that, we're going to unfold these. And we're going to come inside and move those so that they go inside themselves. So when you take it, you'll see here, open it up and pull this and let it do its own thing. It'll follow the fold you already made. Just like that. So you can see where I'm, all I'm doing is giving this a bit of a pull and it's already trying to fold itself. That's good. And then it'll automatically want to fold on those folds that we made earlier and let it. So you're just going to go like this and then... Once it's in its spot, give it a nice tight, just like that. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to just take this, and all I'm doing is giving it a little bit of a pull forward, and it automatically wants to fold itself up. And as soon as it does, make sure it's in the right spot. So it looks like a funny little... I don't know, a little bird doing a, doing the splits, maybe. So once we've done that, we're going to open this. So all we're going to do is if you're laying it on the table, you're going to open it so that it just looks like this. Right? And just pull this one up like this. So you have these two funny fat legs. And what we're going to do is we're going to make these nice and skinny. <coughs> Sorry. So... We're going to take this and we're going to fold it into the center. So I'm just going to do the first one so you can see. So just like we did before, we fold along the center line on an angle to the point. Right? So just like that. And then we're going to take the top one and we're going to do the same thing. So once you have that, we're going to do the other side. So again, into the center. All the way out the side here. And then we're going to do the same thing to the top. Just like that. Alright, so once you have this, we're going to fold these back to themselves. And we're going to fold them in, make sure they're nice and tight. Just like that. And then we're going to fold just the one down. So it looks kind of funny, right? Once you have that, we're going to flip it over and we're going to fold this one down. Oh, sorry. We're going to skip this step here. We're going to fold it in half first. So it should look like a funny little elongated triangle. I don't make this one very often, so I get ahead of myself sometimes. 
clearly. All right, so you should have a funny little body here and then your two little legs. So once you've got it facing with your legs down, so you want it like you're standing on the ground, you're gonna have this facing to your right. So you want this one and it's got a little bit of a fold in the middle. This is how you can tell which one's which. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this and we're gonna fold it in like this. And all we're doing is folding along this line right here. And we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna make sure that it goes the other direction and then unfold it. So you see all I did was just go one, two, right? And then bring it back to this. So once it's in this position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse fold it. So let it open up and just kind of push the tail over on itself. And when you fold it back in half, it does this kind of funny little thing, right? You want that to happen. And all we're gonna do is fold it and push it down nice and tight. And then fold it all the way along. There you go. So once you've done that, we're gonna make the head. So we're gonna take a little piece. I pick about a thumb, I don't want it too big of a head, so about a thumb width, and we're gonna fold it down. Just like that. And then we're gonna fold that same line in the other direction. And again, all we're doing is creating the crease. So when we do this fold, it does it automatically. So again, release it a little bit, let it loose, and just pull it down. So just like that, you see, as soon as you pull it down, it wants to fold with the line. And as you do that, it'll automatically fold itself down. And voila, you have the little head of a bird. So as soon as you've done that, we're gonna take a pair of scissors, which I forgot to mention we needed, and I forgot to grab. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the tail. So on here, what we're doing is cutting about halfway to the legs. We don't wanna go too far, because otherwise it would look really funny. So on here, I'm going to cut about halfway and you want it thick but not really thick right so maybe half a finger thickness so I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do my cut so gonna go about there and you can make them a bit fatter you can make them a little bit um, thinner it's up to you it's your bird and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take from where we cut all the way and we're gonna fold it down to this little corner here. So I'm just gonna do that first one there. And you wanna be careful you don't rip past where you cut, right? Otherwise, there's no point in cutting. So once you've done that, you're gonna flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Corner doesn't want to line up. There we go. All right. And now you have a bird. The only thing we have to do now is make some little feet. So the last step we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with this, but we're going to go up instead of down. So we're going to take one leg. So just take one leg, push the other one back. We're going to do this. We're going to fold it over a little bit. Again, not too thick and fold it back the same direction so you have a nice crease and again just open the leg a little bit and automatically it wants to follow the fold and then once you do this instead of folding it super flat like you normally would like this what i'm doing is actually making it so that it's like a little flat foot so you can see here I'm actually flattening it so it looks like this move that back in the camera there so instead of it being flat on its edge like this I'm making it flat so it's up against the table right 
that make sense? All right. I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side. So I want to line up with the other foot. So I'm taking this foot and I'm guiding myself just the same way. Go like this. So it should match up. And then again on the other side. And then stick my finger in there and let it loose a little bit. And again, I'm pinching here and it always wants to fold in half, but I don't want it to fold all the way. So I'm holding it and I'm just flattening it myself. So it kind of flattens like this. And then if you've done it level enough, should stand on its own but because it has a heavy tail it won't stand completely but it will stay up like that and you have the bird all right so again anybody wanting to check out the videos uh, post Facebook live um, if you don't want to search through Facebook to find the videos again, always go to my youtube.com, uh, type in my name in the search bar and you'll find me and it has all the videos and this one will get posted up there as well uh, within the next 24 hours. Hope you guys enjoy.